has a very important natural application, especially for the elimination of acetylene traces uh, for uh, ethylene uh, in the stream of ethylene for the polymerization reaction because acetylene is a poison for the polymerization reaction. On the other hand, the scientific interest of this reaction is that it's a non-sensitive uh, reaction and normally the industrial coloring is a palette of basic colors. In the, in the network of the reaction, acetylene must be converted to ethylene. This is the, the, the product that we, we try to form. But of course, we have side reaction, formation of methane and also coke, and also ethane by a consecutive path or by a the idea of this work is trying to develop nickel calories because our interest in a, a cheaper alternative of the parade device based carbons. <coughs> Several preparation methods can be used in this case. We have, we, we have, the, we have used the precipitation method. On the other hand, the activation process of this, uh, for these calories. There are several possibilities, but in our condition, mainly is, is produced by cold deposition. As a consequence, we have an increase in activity and, of course, change in the reaction selectivity. Well, as I told you before, we prepare our calories by co-precipitation and we obtain a hydrodioxide reports. These other types of proportions are actually formed by two layers per side, the layers, and with a, an, an ionic interlayer, in our case, is a carbonate interlayer. The advantage of this uh, kind of uh, proportion is that we can prepare these uh, uh, hydrodioxide phases in a large range of composition. Okay. 
Finally, by reduction of this calcium calorie, we obtain our active calorie, our calories. Experimental uh, were carried out basically in a thermogrammetric system using a thermobalance, which uh, operating as a differential reactor, and of course we can follow the intrinsic way, and we can also analyze the reaction, uh, the, the product of the reaction by a conventional online GC. Normally, our experiments are carried out in the following way. First, the calorie is reduced in, in situ in the thermobalance, 500 UBC. After that, the calorie is cooling down in hydrogen at, uh, at, uh, to the reaction temperature, and after that, the reaction is In previous work, we have shown that the activity, both activity and selectivity for ethylene of this kind of calories, nickel aluminum calories, were significantly improved by incorporating zinc in the solid structure. Now, we will study the total of partial substitution of nickel by copper or cobalt in this already improving calories compared with this one. Therefore, we establish this uh, uh, calories and by total substitution we, obtain, we can obtain cobalt or copper C aluminum calories and the quaternary calories can be obtained by partial substitution of nickel by cobalt or copper. Let's go to the results and discussion. Well, this is the normal composition and the surface area for our sample. As you can see, in all the cases, the calories exhibit a very uh, high surface area, especially for the uh, quaternary calories containing both nickel and copper, or nickel and copper. This is the uh, X-ray characterization of our calories. In other cases, spanium light phase and metallic oxide were detected. Of course, the calories are not very well crystallized, therefore the relative proportion extremely depend on, on the calories composition, but due to the low uh, crystallinity, he said perhaps for this one, the, the, the determination of the relative proportion of each phase is very uh, difficult and also it is not possible to identify which dimeric cation are present in the spinal line phase in the octahedral cells. What is going on when well, the calories are uh, reduced in a TPR experiment? Indicating that nickel 
fast. On the contrary, legal systems uh, have a much higher activity and the stability of these currents seem to be uh, more or less uh, a good stability as a function of time. By the way, copper systems are the currents that form the higher amount of copper. Of copper. And nickel currents and cobalt currents for a much lower amount of Two types of sites 
Sorry. It also appeared from your data that the coke was depositing on the hydrogen alkyl sites than the hydrogenation sites? Bo both. Both. But was the different a, the, within that the, the Is that a preferential the, deactivation of one site compared to the other? Well, if the coke is forming on the hydrogen leaking site, the, this site is deactivated and we we have we obtain a, a decrease in ethane and methane uh, still. On the other hand, uh, <coughs> if the coke is formed on the hydrogenation site, we obtain a decrease. No, actually, not because in this case we, we we have an activation process. Therefore, we obtain an increase in the in the selectivity to the yield to ethyl. Yeah. We need to form this coke to produce to selectively produce. Thank you. 